Approximately three years ago, Norman Critz from the Mid-Atlantic Blind Golfers Association contacted me about helping to build a course at the New York Institute for Special Education in the Bronx, which is where we are today. The Mid-Atlantic Blind Golfers Association is an organization of volunteers that provides golf instruction to the blind and visually paired youth. Norm has been with the organization since how long? 1992, Norm? 92. Yeah. That's a long time. Uh, today we have representatives of the organization in addition to Norman, and I'd like to introduce Mario Tabia, the president of the organization, to speak a little bit about it. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, as is said, I'm president of Middle Atlantic Blind Golf Association. Pride and joy, our, our crown jewel, is really our junior blind golf program, headed up by Norman Chris, Gil Kaysen, and now Mike Malloyd. And today we're honoring one of Norm's biggest passion is to build a golf course on the grounds of blind schools. And this is what we're here today to honor. A privilege for me to be here and be a participant of this. Thank you very much. This is really the day we've all waited for, for um, three years, as um, Ken was saying. The visionary of the course is our friend, Norman Kritz. Norman has worked tirelessly to bring golf to children who are blind and visually impaired throughout the United States. Golf is a lifelong leisure activity and one where a person with a visual impairment can participate on equal ground with their sighted peers. There are a few PGA professionals here today and I don't know if they even realize that a blind golfer can do things that a regular golfer cannot do. He's one allowed to ground his club in a hazard in the sand and he is also allowed to have a coach line him up. So thanks to Norman and all the volunteers who worked on the course at the New York Institute, more students can be introduced to the game and we hope some of you that are here today. It's not just the skill of playing golf that's important, it's the social aspect, the desire to improve, the opportunity to be with other people and to show people that you can do this and I think that's what we're all about here at, at the Institute and what Norman's trying to show is that anyone who's blind and visually impaired can do whatever anyone else can. So Norman is the backbone of the course here and I also like to thank Ken who's been our coordinator throughout this. So many people have devoted their time, financial resources to make this day really special. Uh, I would first like to thank my employers uh, Paul J. Scariano and Dominic Parisi. Uh, when I first mentioned the idea to them, their first response was, when do we start, right? We were also very fortunate to have Jeff Voorhees, the executive director of the PGA Metropolitan Section, and Craig Currier from the Long Island Golf Course Superintendent Association as part of our team. These men and their organizations were the main suppliers of all the materials that you see here today, including the beautiful turf, installed by Elite Synthetic Turf. I want to extend a special thank you to Craig for his persistence in getting the turf installed. Thank you, Craig. I would also like to thank the Friends of Richard Spear for raising the funds and donating to this worthy cause. The funds donated and enable us to install the turf you see here today, and we're going to dedicate this pudding green, the Richard Spear pudding green, to his memory. Many more people involved, from Simeon Robinson and his ground staff from the school here, to Nicole Aquino, and Vishal Ramsaran from our office. Please forgive me if I didn't mention anybody specifically by name, but it's, you know, as they say, it takes a village, and here we are today. So lastly, and most importantly, the vision realized before you today is due to the dedication and determination of one man, Norman Kritz. Through Norm, hundreds of blind and visually impaired children have been shown how their obstacles came to be overcome and their potential realized. Thank you very much, Norm. It's my privilege and honor today to dedicate the course, the Crits Link for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Yes. Yes, for you, my friend, you deserve it. Wow. Yep. And we intend to hold our first clinic soon, right, Norm? Okay. A couple of weeks, a couple of months. So again, the, the intention is for uh, the children uh, at the school to enjoy the game of golf, but we also want to bring it to the broader community and through the Mid-Atlantic Blind Golf Association put on some clinics. 
and um, the, the clinics typically are Saturdays uh, during the summer and the fall and we invite uh, the broader community and, and Bernadette has been uh, extremely generous in allowing us to do that and bring the uh, golf to all.